I'm gonna tell you about 8 incredible places to visit in Lebanon, especially during spring. Let's start from Beirut. Head over to Deliet el Rauche. It's a natural area that overlooks the famous Rauche rock you probably know. During spring, the flowers frame the rock in a beautiful way. A short trail heads down to the sea. On a warm day, it gets especially crowded. Drive for an hour and a half south of Beirut and you will reach Tir or Sur. The beaches there are world class, seriously. If you drive through one of the banana fields before reaching Tir, you will discover secret beaches. Just an hour south of Beirut, there is Makhtara in Shouf. Over there, there's a river trail, and whenever I go, I really feel like I'm in a fairy tale. The trail goes along the river, passes old bridges, ancient houses, and reaches a pond fed by a waterfall. Also an hour away from Beirut, there is the park in Tanayim. You can actually also reach it from Mukhtara through a very scenic mountain road. The park here feels like paradise. It's actually the monastery who grew the park and the lake. If you continue for another 50 minutes from Tanail, you will reach Baalbek in the Ba'a Valley. The temples of Baalbek are gorgeous and they're very well preserved. If you visit in spring, the temples will frame the little snow that's remaining on the mountains. Oh, while you're on the way back, you should definitely pass by Tanbegje for a yummy Lebanese lunch. Now let's move a little towards the northern coast. Tripoli is one of my favorite cities in Lebanon. The food is so good! The souks are basically a living open-air museum. There's even soap being made the old-fashioned way. And you can play foosball right on the street. And then you can spend a long time wandering around the citadel of Tripoli, my second favorite right after Balbek. It's huge. The views over Tripoli are incredible. What really sets it apart is how it's really in the center of the city and overlooks everything. Now right next to Tripoli, there is Jabal Turbul, a mountain that stretches right from the city and right from the sea high up. What's interesting is that you're in nature, but you just feel that you're right next to the city. The views from the mountain are incredible. Going higher up in the mountains of northern Lebanon, above Badrun, there's an area called Bustan Lassi in a valley, where Nahr al Joz passes and feeds what is probably the most impressive waterfall in Lebanon. There's also all sorts of flowers. There's still a lot that I want to tell you about, but I'll leave them for other videos. I hope you enjoyed this one.